I'm going to start off with your your captaincy. Uh, you know, everybody just uh, makes such a big deal about how you're such a fine wicketkeeper batsman. And, you know, if you hadn't played in, in the Dhoni era, you would have clocked 100 matches and this and that. Um, and just like you, I have another very dear friend called Amol Muzumdar. And Amol says, man, I've reached a point when I just need people to stop asking me that question, saying that if I wasn't in the Sachin yeah. era, would I have played 100 tests? So I'd like to focus on the fact that you really are a leader of men because under your stewardship, a team like Gujarat, I mean, this is really the stuff that, you know, you're yearning off in Lagan and Chande, you know, movies. Yeah. <laughs> you marshal these troops of boys to actually go on and win three prominent titles. And one of them is the Ranji. So let's start at the, at the absolute beginning, how you managed to do that and, you know, your, your skills as a captain. See, uh, first of all, I don't, I don't see myself as unlucky to be playing in Dhoni's era because, you know, uh, I, I played before him and I've had mm. the opportunity to, to perform before him. And then he came in because I did not have a couple of good series and I got dropped. So just to, I know people can say just to gain, gain sympathy that, you know, uh, I was born in wrong era, but I don't believe that. I think, you know, I think whatever Dhoni has achieved, he has, you know, make sure that what, whatever opportunities he's got and he's achieved something very, very special for, for country. So I don't feel unlucky at all. And now uh, let's uh, get back to a Gujarat thing. Yes, we won Ranji Trophy in 2016-17. But that wasn't, uh, I mean, that is not the year where we, we started preparing. We started preparing four or five years back. It wasn't just a one-year plan. You know, we, we, we had to drop a lot of players. We had to drop a lot of senior players who were, you know, not ambitious enough to, you know, uh, win trophy. I, I wanted, a, as a captain, I wanted players a young guys who could who are more ambitious who wanted to go on to play for India and not to just play for Gujarat and and play another game and we had a bunch of very very good young players who had done really well in junior cricket whether it's Aksha Patel you name Priyank Panchal is a big name now who's played for India Jasprit Bumrah obviously has gone on to become number one there are a lot of players who are hungry to go on to play for uh, play for India and to make sure that India uh, Gujarat wins Ranji Trophy so. You know, in 2011-12, I decided, I spoke to selectors, I spoke to uh, GCA guys that, you know, we'll stick to these guys. We'll take the insecurity out of their mind. We'll stick to these guys for four or five years. We have to uh, accept right now that we are not good enough side to win Ranji Trophy, but we have talent. It just, we have to make sure that these guys are given enough time uh, that insecurity should thrown out of their mind so that they can express themselves the way they have been doing in junior cricket. Because we were winning in junior cricket. We were uh, winning national titles in junior cricket. So that, that was a big role which I probably you know decided to do it. And now you know everyone was established in 2016-17. All of them had played about 30-40 games. So before the season started, the main thought was you know we are not going to prepare for 8 games. We are going to prepare for 11 games. We are not going to just prepare for eight league phase. We are going to prepare for semi-final final and Irani Trophy. That means we have, we want to win this Ranji Trophy. And I personally felt that you know that shift of mindset made a huge difference. Obviously, quality was there, but the shift of mindset played a huge role in in our success to win Ranji Trophy. 